Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to save your PlayStation 5 game data to your USB drive. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I currently have a USB device plugged into the front slot on my PlayStation 5. And you can save your game data to it if you want to go ahead and back up your console or transfer the game data to another console. Now, to do this, you can go to settings and select this. And then go on down to where it says save data in game app settings. Now, if you were to go to save data for the PlayStation 5 and you went to console storage, you may have noticed there's no option to actually transfer the data to a USB device like it would be on the PlayStation 4. Now, you can't do it directly from this menu, but there still is a way that you can do it. However, if you want to transfer over some save data for the PlayStation 4, this is a little bit different. If you go to console storage now, you can see there's an option to copy to USB drive. So let's let this load and then we'll copy one thing over. But there still is a way that you could do this with your PS4 games. So let's select the Sims 4, for example. And I have USB selected on the top, copy to USB drive. Now let's go over to copy. And you can see my console storage and my USB storage on the right side of the screen. And it's going to take about what, 15 seconds to go ahead and copy over my Sims 4 data. Okay, so it is pretty much complete now. Now let's go ahead and copy some PlayStation 5 game data. And let's back out of this screen and go to the main settings menu and go up to system now. Now under system software, go to the right and go on down to backup and restore. Then go to backup your PS5. Backup games, apps, and data in console storage to a USB drive. Now let's close this down and go to the screen. Now you can choose what you want to back up to a USB device. And I'll show you the available storage in the upper right. And you can see my USB drive is exceeding the amount of storage and I have to go ahead and disable some games or apps. So I can go into here and specifically save games or apps if I want to. You can see Call of Duty is 36 gigabytes and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I can go ahead and select specific games or I'm just gonna uncheck mark games and apps. And same thing for video games here for the screenshots and video clips. And I'm just going to go to save data and just save my save data and my system settings down here and go to next. And close this down. Now it says my PlayStation 5 will restart and the items you selected will be backed up to the USB drive. So let's go to backup right now. And it's preparing the USB drive. Now to access your backup data, if you go to settings once again, and select this and then scroll on down to system system software, and then go to backup and restore, and go to restore your PlayStation 5, and select your backup that you just created. Now this says your PlayStation 5 will be restored with the backup data you selected. When you start restoring your PS5 will be reset to factory defaults, and all users and all data will be deleted. After that, your PlayStation 5 will be restored using the backup data. The backup data will be restored to console storage. You can't restore data to M.2 SSD, your expansion storage. If you have an M.2 SSD instead, its data won't be deleted. Console sharing and offline play will be disabled for all users on this PlayStation 5. So then you can go ahead and restore your backup data. So if anything does happen, you do have the data available to you. And if it accidentally gets deleted, well, it's there, but you just have to go ahead and go through this long process. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.